Hey, you two. I've been having this song, this one song man stuck in my head all day. I don't know about y'all, but like if if I have a song stuck in my head this long, I got to play this song to it's like to relieve the stress of the song. I don't know what it is, but the song is I, listen, if you don't know the song, don't, don't watch this video. Don't, because where are you, bro? That's a big tune. I don't care what anybody tell me. You can judge me as much, as much as you want. That's a big freaking tune. Come a comedian? Stop playing with me. I gotta listen to it so I can release the, the build up of the, the song in my head. I just got to. I got to listen to the song. Like last week I had, uh, what's the name of the song? Ah, uh, gosh. Y'all probably don't know it. But anyway, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a island song. But anyway. Let's get to this video. Tell me me reacting to Yo Yo 808. My mom really caught me in 4K and an and, 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 and animated story. Yes, yeah, so last week Yo Yo was trying to get some bun, but my boy fumbled, fumbled on the fumbled on the kitty, you know. But then again, you know, everything has its works out. But if you guys are new to the channel, splash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get into the video. One day I decided to do it at night while everyone was home as opposed to right after school when I was alone. I was getting cocky. Really? Come, come on, bro. You know what I meant. Get your mind out of the gutter. So I was looking at naked women on my phone and it's business as usual until I hear the door just rattling. I forgot to lock the door. Man. Julia, what are you doing? No, nothing? No, what are you doing? Nothing, Mom. What's that on your phone? Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's porn. If you watch the My Mom Caught Me in 4K video, you'll find that yeah. the thumbnail is a little misleading. But I'm here to let you know that my thumbnails are not cat. This thumbnail is not cat. This scenario did in fact happen. Let me tell you the story. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was sheltered as a kid. Like, like a lot of the world was hidden from me when I was growing up. But don't get me wrong, while I was sheltered, my- I got a joke to tell y'all about getting caught. I feel like my father, listen, I, I know this nigga, I knew this nigga saw me, but this nigga act like he didn't see me, still my nigga. Mom didn't have the money to properly shelter her kid. I know this because I went to a public school. So this story took place in seventh grade. I had just started walking to school, so my mom gave me a phone so she could keep in contact with me to make sure my black ass doesn't be turned into a hashtag. And also to make sure my black ass doesn't get me turned into an Amber Alert. But this phone was not like the one that you're watching this video on. This was a Blackberry with prepaid minutes. For my younger audience, I'll explain what minutes are. Basically, there's a time limit on your phone that dictates how long you can call, how many texts you can send, and in particular to this story, how long you can be on the internet. And if this time limit reaches zero, your phone won't work and you can extend your time by purchasing prepaid minute gift cards. This phone was... Back then, they had gift cards, but now you can just top up online. And in case you guys are wondering that's how we do it here in the Turks and Caicos you can get postpaid but um for more efficient how to say it did I say efficient that's the right word for no not efficient for people who can't afford postpaid you go prepaid for me I just top up my phone once a month I don't call nobody so I put like six dollars six dollars on my phone and that was last me for the month I don't call much people is it um, around the internet you know, most of the time I'm around Wi-Fi, so I either FaceTime call, FaceTime audio, or WhatsApp video call, or WhatsApp audio. Connected to my mom's computer, so if my phone ran out of minutes, she would be notified, and she'd probably hit me with something. But socially awkward middle school me never got close to running out, as texting two friends and getting curved by girls didn't require too many minutes. So, one day I was at school, and this group of kids are talking about cantaloupes, which, you know, in my head is no boys, but I realized something was up when they started to bring up different types of cantaloupes. I mean, they're talking about big cantaloupes, small cantaloupes, sack of cantaloupes, hairy cantaloupes, the list goes on. But during this combo, I'm thinking, what is the source material? Like, where are these guys going to see this many pairs of cantaloupes? At this point, the only pair I'd seen had been my mom's, and I wasn't on the internet a lot as a kid, so I didn't know I had access to all of the cantaloupes of the world on my phone. So I expressed my confusion to the group. Boy, give me your neck! 
big mistake because yeah. I'm like, I should have been watching porn <clears throat> cantaloupe related videos years ago. But after roasting me, they explained that they're seeing all of these fruits on WholeFoods.com. One of them pulls it up on their phone, shows me, and oh my god! is where it all went downhill. So school ends, I walk home, my mom calls me as she usually does, I get to the door and she hangs up. And no one is home yet, so I go right upstairs. And I don't know why, but this is a very vivid memory for me. I remember laying down in this exact position. I open the browser on my phone, a box opens up warning me that I'll lose minutes continuously while I'm on the internet. Now this will be my first time going on the internet with this phone, so I'm not really thinking about the minutes and how many minutes it takes Honestly, I have much more important things on my mind at the moment. So I double check the door, the hallway, make sure no one's looking out of my clothes, second story, curtain window, you know, just in case. I click the green OK button on my phone, I go to Google, and I type boobs. I click images, and then nothing crazy shows up. I type boobs on Google images, you know, it's just like male chest, Drake and Josh, and modest bikini pictures. I close the tab, and open a new one, and this time I type woman's chest. How scandalous. I hit enter, click images, and then scary news. Do something. I, I was shy, okay? I, I know I had to type crazy things to get what I wanted, but I, I just felt weird doing it. So I tried three more searches, but nothing. I, I'm being too modest, and I realize I need to get a little raunchy, so I muster up the courage to type Boom. I hit search, click images, and my mind is just overloaded with content, bro. I'm seeing things I've never seen before. I'm learning words from the hair grows there. I could feel my innocence just leaving my body. I was trying to mesmerize that. I, I didn't even do anything. Like, th this was good enough. I just kind of looked Ow. and admired it. And I loved it. My phone couldn't play videos, so I didn't even use WholeFoods.com. I just kind of stayed on Google Images. I did this for hours every day for weeks, bro. Just looking at pictures. That was all I did. And the more I did it, the bolder and bolder I got. With all the searches, it was like each day I became more and more of a man. I just gave him minutes. Until one day I decided to do it at night while everyone was home as opposed to right after school when I was alone. I was getting Damn. cocky. Really? Come, come on, bro. You, you know what I meant. Get your mind out of the gutter. So I was looking at naked women on my phone, and it's business as usual until I hear the door just rattling. I'm and I got bad feeling the door, and I was getting sloppy with my moves. <laughs> the door swings open, and I'm just blinded by the light of the hallway. I see my mom, and she sees me. And I see my mom. Joya, what are you doing? <clears throat> no, nothing? No, what are you doing? Nothing, mom. What's that on your phone? I tell her I set a timer on my phone to wake up for school tomorrow and she leaves. I turn the phone off, I roll over to sleep, but she opens the door again, hands me the minute card, and tells me to add it to the phone and to come in her room. So I go in and she's sitting on the bed with her computer. Yo, yo, what are you, what are you doing on that phone? I gave you minutes a week ago and it says that you're almost out. What's going on? Oh, uh, you know, I, I just been calling people. Oh, calling people, huh? You sure you don't want to tell me what else you've been doing before I read off your history? And me thinking that Whoa. she's talking about my call history, I'm like, history? It, if she checks that, she's gonna know that I haven't been calling people and that I've been losing minutes for another reason. Um, maybe I can like tell her I was texting someone. Make it boo. When she says that, I get immediate butterflies in my stomach. When my friends graciously let me know about WholeFoods.com, they didn't tell me about this thing called search history. This whole time, I was just closing tabs. I didn't know that I had to clear the history. I look at her computer and there it is. An extensive, and I mean extensive, list of all of my searches, bro. She, she had me. She just starts reading off the list and I'm just embarrassed, man. But oh, nah, it, it, it gets much worse than this. As she goes down, she starts to get to the wild searches, but since I'm so sensitive to this stuff, I mean, I just got here. While she's reading the searches, I start remembering the pic. Hey, let's, let me tell you a quick story, right? Um, I used to work for this phone company, right? And this guy, he came inside the, the store and I, he asked to say, hey man, the company been stealing 
my minute, I mean, my, my data, whatever, whatever. Y'all a bunch of teams. Y'all a bunch of teams. I say, we are not a bunch of teams. The company might be a bunch of teams, but I know we ain't. You can put my name inside no teeth in conversation now. And I ain't taking a damn dog. Come, come look at my phone. Come look at my phone. Anyway, I said, all right, bro, let me check your phone. Because sometimes when you have a data plan on your phone, you might, it might be using, it might be running apps in the background. So if you need to turn that off, so like say your calculator or something ridiculous might be using your data too. Let's say for example, but anyway, yeah. So anyway, I go into that, it's okay. Everything is off. I said, let me check his history, not his history, his, his, um, his Google. Make sure he closes enough tabs, because like I say, they're running in the background. This nigga had 64 different pages of porn. 64! I was like, what the fuck, bro? Close the tab and you're done! This nigga refused to close. Listen, I mean, like, he just, like, he just watched. <laughs> yeah. This nigga, like, he's watched a video. I like how, I like how, let me open up a new tab. X, X, or uh, WholeFoods.com. Oh, I like how. Open up a next tag, WholeFoods. This nigga don't close pay. I say, I see why it's your data running out. Oh, why well, you said that? I said, I show him the form. I said, bro, you got a problem. 64 different pages of pornograph pornography. I said, bro, you sick, bro. You need a hobby, my boy. You being, you know what I mean? Me choking the chicken a little too much still. Boy, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, here's your phone, sir. Yeah, it's so disgusting. And after that day, that was like probably my first week working there. I don't even touch people's phone no more. I stopped touching people's phone. I stopped. I just say, no, turn your phone around, scroll out. I don't touch it no more. Now I see people. Issues which kind of hates my member, you know, but it, 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 now is not the time. I start to panic. I look down at my pants. Yo, oh. Please do not do this to me right now. Big bullets. Do big fly through. On big bullets. No. Jiggle what? Hey, so, I thought something was right in the background. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> but I immediately sit on the floor. Nah, stand up. I, I need so, you to read this. Yo yo. Yo yo. yo I know you hear me. If you don't get up, I'm calling your grandma. Mom, no, please get up then. No. Hi, baby. How's it going? My grandma's on the phone and I'm panicking trying to have a normal conversation but my mom is not letting that happen nah go ahead and tell your grandma what you've been doing oh what, what you been doing i'm like crying on the phone my memory's activated my mom's reading the titles my grandma's asking what's wrong it's a mess honestly i can only imagine what this room sounded like big breath on mom stop please after realizing that I've had enough, my mom takes the phone and I hightail it out of that room. I learned my lesson, man. From that day on, I never looked up cantaloupes again, ever. I was just to say. Wait, wait, what? Really want to plus six? For the one plus plus six? Okay, hold on. He's talking. Looking at Yo-Yo's face, not an animation. Why is he lying down? Is he or is he not swinging his feet in the air? Unanswered questions. Unanswered questions. But, but I just want to let any artists out there know. As you know, I recently hired my background artist, Jada. Shout out to Jada. She's carrying the channel on her back. But right now, I'm actually looking for an artist. As you guys know, I don't actually animate. I draw stills and then manipulate them in Final Cut. So what this artist would do is I'd send them a list of sketches and stuff like this, like the stuff I'm putting on the screen right now. And then all you have to do is sketch, line, and color it, and then send it right back to me. Really quick before this continues, I would like to add, you would not be animating the whole video, obviously. I want to hire multiple artists, so I'd probably give each artist like one minute of video. If you're interested in that and you think that you can pull off my style well, send a message to this email right here. Please send me some of your work so it's not just a, hey, yo, yo, I want the job. Like, let me let me see what you got, like what you can do. Also, this is not an animator job, so you don't need to animate. Obviously, a background in animation would be helpful, but if you're a good artist and you can replicate my style, that works perfectly fine. You will do some animating, but like, you've seen my videos, I don't do too much of it. Once again, send this email right here. I'll be looking through them, of course, if I don't respond. So, okay. That's basically it. 
Hey, if, you, if y'all niggas want a job, yo yo's hiring. I wish I could have draw. I ain't that creative when it comes to drawing now. Yo yo, I can draw a stick man if you want that. That's just the best. That's, that's, that's the best thing you get for me, stick man. Stick man and and and, and, and dolly house. That's the best thing I could do. I could draw. No, I can't draw that. Right? My house kind of be detailed too well. Now I'm on, but. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys are new to the channel, man. Smash that like button. Oh, that shit hurt. No. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below. Run around to 100,000 of them things on this YouTube channel. Yeah, that's a lot because I want it. So I'm going to get it. With that being said, the world is yours. Peace.